we are gonna go play uh, World of Warship. So, uh, Kleber, 666 Angel of Death, says, I got the Kleber recently. It is such fun and strong. Uh, I agree. Kleber is a strong boat. It is an eight gun boat, two guns per turret, eight guns total across four turrets, two turrets fore, two turrets aft. Uh, with a couple of torpedo launchers. Check these launchers out. We actually have four torp launchers. There is two. There's one here and one here. And then if you flip it around, uh, you got one here and, uh, excuse me, and one back here. I cannot run my mouse correctly, apparently. Four DDs per side. We have a daring Marceau, Shimakaze, and Holland. I will be outspotted by everybody. What I really need is to be with another DD. But the Marceau knows they want to be with another DD too, and they went over there with the Shima. So I have to deal with this cap alone. My cruisers and destroyers and battleships, or my cruisers and battleships, will not be pleased with the way I'm going to handle this cap. Because I'm not going to push the cap. Who is spotting me? It's going to be the DD inside. My detect is 7.8 kilometers. The one thing I don't love about Kleber is... Oh yeah, you look great. One thing I don't like about Kleber is the gun reload's a little bit long for a gunboat for me, but... Oh, sorry. I didn't see that you were there. Uh, but, if your targets are at range... You can, why are you firing AP at that curve first? I'm guessing they just had the wrong uh, wrong shells in from a previous match. I have made that mistake myself. Ain't nothing to get too hung up on. Um, I do love running around and spamming battleships. Getting the back 40 planted, you know, before the harvest. That kind of a thing. Do not anger me, Puerto Rico, for you are next. I will burn you. So I'm going to switch over to the Montana again for a salvo or two. Oh, Puerto Rico has already put out that fire. So I'll come back to Puerto Rico. Lost sight on them. That's unfortunate. We know approximately where they are. 30,000 damage on the clock already, guys. We looked away for one second, and look at that. 28,985 on the clock. We're looking for 65,000. That's my average. I feel like I've been missing my average damage all night. Uh, I don't know if that's true. But it certainly feels that way. There's my boy. Let's get that Rat-a-tat-tat -tat reload booster going. Haven't even used that yet, but we're going to use it now. Glancing at my mini-map between salvos, and that's just to make sure that no ships pop up that are suddenly spotted by me or that I'm spotting or whatever. So we're going to put this Puerto Rico on the bottom, but if I get in interrupted, then I'm in trouble. Now, I wanted to make sure I was focusing on shooting that guy. There we go, got him. Perfect! 41k on the clock with Kleber. I wanted to make sure I was able to focus on driving my shots into the bad guys there and uh, just keeping my eyes loosely available for monitoring uh, somebody popping up that was close to me, right? We know there are three enemy DDs in here, all of which can outspot me. So if I'm spotted and then suddenly I detect a new ship, I could be really close to somebody who could affect me with uh, close range torpedo shots or similar. It's like DDs have come back to Bravo now that I'm here. I'm going to say that I inspired them, but they were probably coming back anyway. The French are proud this evening. I hope so. Let's get in here and get this cap, and then we'll go back out and we'll farm that Yamato some more. 43k on the clock. I think we're doing okay. Seems like a strong start to the match. We could have some trouble. Holland is coming up around there. I just want to check those torps 
Just in case he decides he wants to catch a football over there, we'll throw a few his way. An American football, of course. You wouldn't want to catch a uh, regular football. Right, let's use that reload booster. See if we can't grind a hole in this guy's superstructure and light it on fire. Ah, shouldn't have lost sight. That sucks. Oh, he's back. Reload booster is done. Dang it. Sorry for the spazzy camera work there. Shaking my cursor around while I tried to figure out what to do. Ooh, that was another fire on Yamato. That poor guy's gonna burn. Sucker. Let's get this cap too. Let's get all the caps. Got Torps back as well. That's good. I don't know what happened to that shim. Oh, there he is. Turning Shima is uh, confusing my gunners. Perfect. Not anymore, he's not. Let's hit the turbo here. See if we can get around. We'll drop some torpedoes into this Montana. I am currently spotted, so Montana knows I'm coming. Or he's at least got a hunch. I'm going to throw those guys. 70,000 damage on the clock. Oh, this poor guy. This is rude what is happening to this guy. I'm not even going to look at that guy anymore. He's dead. Perfect. That's a pizza party, gentlemen. <laughs> We've done it. 117,000 damage so far. And we got a little more work to do. What do you say we kill this guy too? Oh, don't steal my kill. Ah, <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. We'll let that one slide. 118.9 on the clock. Let's roll over here. We got that uh, We got that Yamato that we started earlier. Minute 16 till we have our next reload booster. Dude, this is a great Colbert game. I'm not normally quite this good. This is my seventh battle in the Colbert. I'm not going to let these guys spot me. I'm going to let them get bored. So I could shoot right now. But look, Yamato's guns, they were just looking at me. He already got bored and he looked away. He did not change his course, of course, which uh, no one can change his course, of course. That is unless, of course, the course is the course that Yamato set. But I think we can probably hit that guy with those torpedoes because I think he's going to eat them. He might not. Let's see. Eh, he's going to dodge him. And or they're going to run out of gas. Whoops. Of course is the course, of course, of course. That isn't less, of course, the course is the course that you might auto set. Mm, there's, a, there's a joke in there. We'll find it. Maybe off stream later when nobody's watching. <laughs> All right, what's Yamato doing now? I want him to keep turning those guns. Pretend I'm not back here, man. It's fine. I'm actually trying to shoot the Nevsky. Switching to Yamada. Just 
I say, somebody needs to kill that Nevsky for me. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do it. <laughs> well, I don't always do this well. Apparently, I haven't played that many battles in this thing. I've won four out of the six and averaged about 65K. This is a pretty solid match. I'll take this one. Thanks, though, Angel of Death. Appreciate it. I do like gunboats. It's one of my favorite things in this game. I used to hate them, but once I learned how to do it, I said, oh, this is why this is fun. I figured it out now. Mm -mm -mm. That was my last chance at a Kraken. If I could have killed that battleship and then blapped or brapped over here to kill this Montana, that would have been my one chance at a Kraken. Daring is giving me a hard time. I didn't realize Daring was down here. <laughs> Missed with that whole set of... Oh, I got one more. That's cool. Nice. Daring is going to cut me down, though. Good job, Daring. Good job, Daring. Oh, man. How are we doing? 186,417 damage on the clock. Six torpedoes landed. 270 gun hits. Eight fires. Three kills. Two caps. Eight caps. My goodness. What a monster battle in this. And I was supported by a pretty strong team. Man, what a match. 186,417 damage, 270 hits. I will say I, I managed to use the reload booster very well in this game, um, and I tried to use it to farm damage. I, normally, you're not going to get torpedo hits like that in the Kleber. I had a very lucky scenario with that Montana, uh, the first one uh, that we, we managed to bump into around that island. Um, and then we had a second Montana late in the game where I was able to use the torpedoes. Anyway, let's take a look at the old scoreboard here. Um, unsurprisingly, and I don't mean to say that to be, you know, confident, but I was top guy with that performance. However, check this out. My team lit this up. 2061 for me, but look at the second slot is 1978. That is very close. And I did 186,000 damage and got three kills. So Thunderer was getting some work done too. Now Thunderers are known to get big damage numbers. So not a huge surprise there. Great play for that player. I'm going to give them a play as well for sure. Just a brief description of my commander and uh, ship build. So first of all, I don't have a 21 point commander on Kleber, uh, but you can see that I've gone for preventative maintenance to make sure that my engine and, and rudder and all those things are gonna keep working. Uh, nothing worse than being stranded in your Kleber. Of course, Last Stand is gonna augment that same capability. It's gonna allow me to continue to maneuver, continue to drive, even if one of those components does get knocked out, despite having preventative maintenance. I've also got Survivability Expert. I like to take this on a lot of my destroyers, pretty much anything at tier 10, and I consider it pretty seriously for build or for tier 8 or tier 9 ships as well. So definitely recommend Survivability Expert. That's one extra salvo from a battleship or a cruiser, uh, depending on, of course, how hard they hit you. But in this case, 3,500 hit points for Kleber, which pushes my total hit points up to 25,400. 
I've also got main battery and AA specialist. This reduces the reload time. On Clubair, that's fairly critical. You'll find that the reload time with my configuration is 5.9 before I took that, uh, that Captain Perk, as well as an upgrade, which we'll talk about in a moment. Uh, the reload time is much, much longer, and 5.9 is already too long in a destroyer, if you ask me. But with the 139s that are on Clubair, you can still get tons of work done, as we just saw. Finally, of course, I take main battery and AA uh, expert. Uh, I do take this for the increase in main battery firing range. This does help quite a bit. And you can see my main battery range is up to 16.3 on the Kleber. Um, the guns are reasonable, but not very high velocity. 840, honestly, that's probably not even reasonable. Um, but frankly, it's fine uh, to get some uh, you know your shots out there at that range, but you know honestly 16.3 is probably a little bit too long I could see somebody skipping this one and going with something uh, like fearless brawler if that's more your speed that would increase your uh uh, the speed of which you can reload your guns. I do take Concealment Expert. I imagine that some people think that's maybe not the best choice, but again, this is my build. Uh, take it as an input as you try to make your own decisions, and that's definitely something I recommend is making your own um, in informed decisions as you build up your captain build. Again, with 18 points, I've got three more. I'll probably be looking at Adrenaline Rush to round out this captain. By way of the upgrades build, let's take a look at what we've got here. Uh, main battery uh, main battery modification one is going to keep the main guns working keep the torpedo tubes working it's a pretty standard choice however I think somebody could make an argument for going with magazine modification one especially with the difficulty in getting the signals that reduce the odds of your ship detonating magazine mod is going to reduce that down by 70% which is worth a lot more than it used to be back when the signals were easier to get uh, in the second slot I take engine boost modification one this is one of the coal modules which gives me a 30% boost to my engine boost time. Uh, on the Kleber, that brings me out to uh, a 90-second reload with a 234-second action time. That is nearly four minutes of running at high speed. And with the 20% speed boost rather than the typical 8%, um, of course, the 20% boost is what we have in these French destroyers. Um, you're going much faster for a very long period of time. Highly recommend the coal module here. I go with aiming systems modification one, especially with the range that I have 16.3, which as we discussed earlier, might be a little bit too long, honestly. Um, this is a big help in terms of dispersion. Uh, with all my modifications and things, my dispersion is down to 127 meters at that maximum range of 16.3. Obviously shorter ranges than that, the dispersion is gonna be even less. Uh, I do run propulsion modification here. I think you could probably look at some other options, possibly steering gears. When I look down here, my rudder shift time is 4.8. It's a little bit longer than some destroyers, uh, but still probably quick enough, especially if you're working at a range of 14 to 15 kilometers, that you can keep yourself dodging shells without much issue. Uh, I do, again, run concealment modification here. Uh, again, I could hear arguments for something else. Um, I don't know what I would choose here. Maybe steering gears, but again, I think you can steer the ship well enough. So I do run concealment here. Uh, I'd be interested in what you guys take if you don't take concealment. Um, so let me know down in the comments below. This is a 7.8 kilometer detectability uh, by C once we've done the captain perk and this upgrade module. And finally, I run main battery modification three. That's a 12% increase uh, in the speed of reload or decrease, I guess, in time of reload. Um, and that is gonna help us get down to that 5.9 seconds. Again, these, these guns reload very slowly unless you start modifying them like this. So I recommend that one pretty wholeheartedly. Obviously, there's some other stuff in here uh, that you can check out, including a legendary modif uh, modification, which I have not purchased, or legendary upgrade, excuse me. Um, although I'm sure that you could do something fun with that. I'm not really excited about the 80% increase in main battery reload time so i am not going that route i've gone for the decrease in main battery reload time um, somebody could go for a range mod but honestly like i said 16.3 is probably already too much i would be interested in seeing someone who takes this but doesn't take some of the other modifications and seeing what you can do with these numbers but again that's my build take that as an input as you try to decide what to do with your club air captain and upgrades and uh, let me know what you do differently down in the comments and why i'd be really interested to hear how other folks are building out this ship and what kind of success you're having all right guys thanks yeah, Thomas, you missed like a really great game. <laughs>
Oh, I knew you. I, that's just too bad, man. Uh, I think there's a pretty healthy odds we'll turn this one into a replay for YouTube. We'll uh, we'll cut this one up for YouTube.